Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I recently became debt-free and are now working towards saving up six months worth of expenses for a fully funded emergency fund. We use a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing method to stay on track because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. Well, hey you guys, I am so excited to be hanging out with you. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a cash condensing. And if you are new to the channel, what a cash condensing is, is basically I'm going to go through all my sinking funds envelopes and all my savings challenges, and I'm going to be swapping out small denominations for larger ones because my envelopes are getting a little too full. For my savings challenges, I wanna get that cash to the bank ASAP, and in its place, we are going to be using these which are called placeholders and so i'm actually going to grab my placeholders out of my binder this is where i normally store them and i have a ton i don't think we're going to need all these today but i'm just going to put these in here anyway and i kind of last minute decided to do a cash condensing but i think this is going to work out because i did not take money out of the bank to do it but we are going to be condensing our savings challenges and so a lot of these large denominations are going to be going back to the bank because we're going to put placeholders here in their place and so i think it's going to work out just fine so we're going to start with i think i'm just going to do all of my savings challenges first and then we'll move on to our sinking funds so we already have fifteen hundred dollars right here for um our placeholders. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's see if I have a $2,000 placeholder. I'm praying I do. I'm not sure if I do. I don't think I do. I don't. No, but we can do, we'll do, um, we'll add. We'll just do this. So I just completed this challenge. This is the one month ahead challenge. So in this envelope, I should have $2,400. So one, two, one, two, three, four. And I'm not gonna do that with each envelope because we're actually gonna be counting the cash in here for my first cash stuffing of April. So stay tuned for that. Right now we're just gonna be condensing. Although, I mean, Technically, you can see how much I have saved because it's on the tracker. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, 52, 53, 54, 55. So we just need to add, see this is why I knew I was okay not getting money from the bank. So we need to add a thousand dollar placeholder. I just wanted that to get this money to the bank as soon as possible. So it's not just sitting here, not for safety reasons, but just so that it can be, you know, accumulating interest faster. Okay, so then for daycare, one, two, three, four, four fifty five. So what we're gonna do first is I'm just gonna swap this out for a 1K. And then we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 200. So we could. We can do this. One, two. Three, four, four, fifty, five hundred. Let's do it this way, actually. So this should be five hundred. One, two, two, fifty, three, three, fifty, four, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, two hundred. <laughs> Just kidding. That was five hundred. 
Do I know how to count? I don't know. I have no idea. So this miscellaneous savings challenge tracker was for our kids' tuition. All right, so car insurance, one, two, three, four, four, fifty, five hundred. So we'll keep a hundred out and then grab a five hundred dollar placeholder. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, ninety-five, one hundred. We gotta move this back here. Um, I know a lot of people usually ask me to, they want to see the cash. All right, 20, 40, 50. What the heck? This is supposed to have 150. I wonder if I put this in a different envelope. Either way, we'll just condense what it is, okay. Interesting. Fifty one, fifty two, fifty, seventy, ninety, three hundred. One, two, three. Oh, I cannot condense this one. I think the rest of these are already condensed from last time. Yep. 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 Weird that I'm missing some cash though in, which one was it? Electricity. Super weird. Okay, so that's it for the one month ahead. This one is gonna be pretty straightforward. The only thing that I sometimes check out in my rollover savings challenge is just condensing the amount of ones so that my, my envelope doesn't get too full. So one, two, three, Ooh, these are nice. These are nice, these are all kind of nice. What is going on here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. I'm just gonna get rid of one more. They're all so crispy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I like to just keep a little bit of each in here in case I ever need it for anything. For like swapping out bills or something. All right, so then the last savings challenge that we'll do, this keeps happening. This guy just wants to like hop right out of here. Okay, so this has already been condensed. 
We just finished March, so now we can, we'll condense it. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 7, 758, 820. So we will do a $500 placeholder. And then actually, I wanna do this one. Perfect. So instead of keeping the money in these envelopes, I'm putting it in the bank each time that I condense. All right, next we're gonna start with high priority. Groceries, let's see here, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. Yeah, let's swap these out for a 50. That one is empty. What can we do for clothing? 20, 40, 60, 80, 85. So I'm gonna swap this out for a 50 and a 10. Then pet care, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So I'm gonna swap these for 250s. I guess these don't have to be nice because these are gonna get spent anyway. That cannot get condensed. Vehicle maintenance has 1100, so we're good there. Medical, this can get swapped out for a 100. This can get swapped out for a nicer 50. So we have $1,650 in medical. Um, yeah, we're gonna just leave this because my copay is 35, so I like to keep an exact chain like $35 in there. Health, it's got 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So let's do 250s in health. Sometimes I like to think ahead on how I might spend this money. Like, do I wanna break 100 when I spend it? I don't know, probably not though. So sometimes I don't completely condense. All right, tax prep. One, two, three, four hundred, four fifty five, five fifty six, so six hundred and fifty. So this should be 500. One, two, three, 354, 455. Perfect. And then memberships should be good, but we'll check it. Yeah. Oh, that always feels so much better getting those condensed. So that's it for high priority. Low priority is next. Eating out, we're not gonna condense. We're not gonna condense drinks. Mm, we don't need to condense that. This only has 20. Family fun is good. Gifts, let's see, we've got 65. So.
see if we've got a better 10 or a better five. Not really. <laughs> One is already condensed. Forty in travel, so we can't condense that. One hundred and ten in miscellaneous. Canning has twenty-five, so we're good there. And then the rest of these are new, so they have not even been stuffed yet. All right, next we'll do the kids binder. This one is getting a little bit full, so. Kids clothing has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. So I'm gonna swap this out for 250s. Normally 50s aren't this bad. These aren't horrible, but they're definitely not great. All right, so 200 bucks in kids' clothing. One, two, forty dollars in school expenses. Back to school. I actually think we can add a placeholder for this one. So one, two, three, four. Yes, okay. So let's figure out. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140. I did that. I did that during my cash stuffing too. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130. Yeah, 140, 150, 160. So this is 100 right here. One, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 500. So you guys get to see this full circle now. Um, so this is exactly what I do when I add a placeholder to money that I'm not gonna be putting in the bank. So we're gonna add a $500 placeholder here. And I'm gonna grab this binder, which is where I keep, this is all the money that like, we're probably gonna be spending soonish. It doesn't necessarily need to be in our savings account. I wouldn't put this in our high yield anyway because we are planning on spending it. Um, these are gonna be available in the shop soon. So we're just looking for back to school. It should, there it is. So you'll be able to put in like your categories for these and they're the, the same size as the placeholders which will also be restocking soon. So birthdays, we actually just, during our unstuffing, cleared this out. So what I'm gonna do now, one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna swap this out, like condense this for another 100. So we have 500 saved up and back to school. So then any at any point in time, like if tomorrow I feel like going and getting the kids some school stuff, I can pull out of here. But then at that point, I would take the placeholder out of this envelope and put the remaining cash back in this envelope. So I have a lot of people that ask me like, well, what do you do? Like if you have a placeholder and then you spend some of the money, well, that's what I do. And that's why I don't take it back to the bank because it complicates things. So when you're using placeholders for sinking funds, I find it easier to do it that way and not bring it to the bank immediately because especially if you're planning on spending it like within the next six months, there's really no need to. It's just gonna complicate your life later. So, well, this is the third time I'm opening this because I keep forgetting what I'm doing. So then I'm just gonna put this in here for when we need it next. All right, so hopefully that made sense, but that just condensed that quite a bit. Birthday parties, I don't think, yeah, we've got 90 in here, so we cannot condense that. Hockey, 
think is good. Yeah, we got 95 in there. Gymnastics. So I actually, one, two, four, six, 70, 80, 85, 90. I am um, gonna pull this out 190 because I do need to bring this back to the bank to pay myself back for Rowan's gymnastic session. So I'm gonna do that. Which leaves $90 in here. And then I'll mark it off. And I might do that right now so I don't forget. You guys are getting like a real live, like what I would be doing if I wasn't filming. <laughs> It's like, I gotta do it right now or I'm gonna forget. So that was back, when did I? Oh, so I did do 200. Why would I do that? Maybe it was 195. I think it was exactly 195 and I, or 196 and I rounded up. So let's just pull all this out then. So 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, What is going on? 1, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 195. We're just going to call it good. I'm just going to continue to stuff that one anyway. But yeah, I just marked that one off. Close enough. All right. So these kids' money, the kids' money can definitely be condensed. So Liam's got 30. So I stuff five each week for each of the kids. Rowan and Liam have less because they chose to spend some of their money on at the book fair on non-book items. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So we'll swap this out for a 20 for Eli. So I could technically combine or condense this into 50, but I'm not going to because we're gonna start doing like little date nights with the kids. All right, so Rowan has 20, but 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So let's swap these two out for a 20. I said these two, I meant these four. My husband's over there distracting me. <laughs> He's quiet though. He's very stealthy. I bet you guys, guys couldn't even hear him walking by. Okay, Bristol. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So again, I'm not gonna condense hers either because these are just for like little date nights or little special things we wanna do with the kids. And then kids miscellaneous. Yeah, we can't condense that. And we are gonna be looking at this new binder that I just made. I still need to put a dashboard with it, but I made a home binder and just transferred all of our envelopes that had to do with our home or our property into this binder. So. Let's see, household has 40, so that one is good. Seasonal lawn care, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80. So we can do, I'm trying to figure out which 20 I like better. I'm gonna swap this out for a better 10. All right, and then we'll swap these two out for these two, like these also is what I mean. I don't mean like these, the number two, like these, we'll swap these also out for a 50. Really? Organizing, we've got 105 in there, so we cannot condense that. Home, it's got 140, we cannot condense that. Freeze dryer, it has a $500 placeholder and then 200, so we cannot condense that. Renovations cannot be condensed, and then seasonal decor. 
one, two, three. So we'll set these here. 350, 4, 20, 40. Okay, so we don't quite have a 500 in here, but we do have 100, 20, 40, 45, 50. So we'll swap this out for 100. All right, so 100, 200, 300, 400, 450 dollars for seasonal decor. And when I made this and like planned on putting this envelope in here, I noticed this one is cursive and these are all like regular. So I don't know if I'll fix that or not. I think it'll bug me if I don't, but that's okay. All right, well, I do think that that is all of our sinking funds for this cash condensing. So let's go ahead and count up what we are all taking to the bank. And this is all gonna be money that we pulled from our savings challenges because I did not start with any money that I had grabbed from the bank. And we also have these ones as well. So let's go ahead and count this up. God knows I'm gonna need my calculator. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I like picked up this money because I'm gonna count it by denomination. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, fifty one thousand, eleven hundred. Two, four, six, eight, one, two, four, six, eight, two, two, four, six, eight, three, two, four, six, eight, four, two, four, six, eight, five, two, four, six, eight, six, two, four, six, eight, seven, two, four, six, eight, eight, two, four, six, eight, nine, two, four, nine hundred and forty. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, ten, and twenty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty five, thirty five, forty five, fifty five, sixty five, seventy five, eighty five, ninety five, one hundred, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five. So one hundred and twenty five. And I believe this is fifteen. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So exactly four thousand dollars is what we will be taking to the bank from our savings challenges to add to our goal of having a fully funded emergency fund, which for us is six months worth of expenses. So I'm super excited to be starting a couple of new savings challenges in the month of April. So make sure you guys stick around, make sure you're subscribed because things are about to get real exciting. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in this video. I hope it blessed you in some way and I cannot wait to see you in my next one.